So I was awarded the ACS Research Scholar Grant about uh, eight years ago, and uh, this grant was focused on a gene that we study in the laboratory, and we wanted to better understand the function of this gene and how it behaves specifically in lung cancer cells. And cancer cells um, become motile, and in humans and in, in other mouse models, they metastasize. They go from the primary tumor to a distant site or organ. And our bigger picture goal is to understand how, uh, how metastasis is regulated and in particular how this gene LKB1 plays a role in metastasis. So our, our grand question then is patients that have mutations in LKB1, does that trigger metastasis in these patients? And if that's the case, do we treat these patients differently um, than patients that do not have the mutation in LKB1? We know that most patients um, die from metastasis, so it's not, it's not so much the primary tumor growth, um, it's that it's the spread of the disease, it's the metastasis. So in the bigger picture, if we could actually reduce the incidence of metastasis or, and in a sense keep the tumor caged in and not being able to move, then perhaps we could actually increase the survival of the patients in this way. Now the thing about this one gene, LKB1, it seems to be predominantly mutated in lung cancer and also cervical cancer and also melanoma, but not as heavily mutated in some of the other cancers. So as for now, we're, we're primarily focused on lung cancer because that's where the most mutations are seen. Being here at, at Emory at the Winchester Cancer Institute, it's provided me resources to not just understand how, how these cells move, but to actually be able to potentially make a difference in, in patients. And that, that to me, you know, 10 years ago, I, ne I never would, would have thought that we could actually at least attempt to do these studies. And it's really about bringing together the right people in the right place, in the right place here to be able to do these sorts of things.